Hello, my name is Patrick Mitchell. I'm currently a senior at Florida State University graduating with a bachelor's degree in information technology. I have proven through my time at FSU and through other work experiences that I am a hard and dedicated worker as well as a quick learner with the ability to teach others. That is what I'm here to do today. I'm going to show you how to create a simple database using Microsoft Access 2007. This tutorial is only for beginning users of Microsoft Access or database software in general. After this tutorial, you should be able to open a new database, set the tables for a database, enter data into the table, and finally, save the database. You will need only a few materials to complete this tutorial. You will need a computer, Microsoft Access 2007, and I will provide the contact information. Now, let's start the tutorial. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to create a contacts database storing the contacts last name, first name, email address, phone number, and any other uh, notes you would like to keep about that contact. Once you have access open, you will need to click the blank database icon to get started. On the right side of the screen, you will need to name your database. In this case, I named mine contacts. Once you have done this, click Create. To set the fields to enter data into, we need to change the view to the design view. In the top left hand corner, click on the icon with the different shapes and select design view. Enter the name of the table and click OK to save the table. The first field will be named ID and have the data type of auto number. This field is for the primary key for the table, which we are not going to cover in this tutorial. On the next several lines, we are going to make the fields with the names, last name, first name, email, phone, and notes. And all of these fields will have the data type text for formatting reasons. Feel free to add descriptions to any of the fields as you see necessary. Your screen should now look something like this. Now that you've set the fields, we need to enter information into the database. In the top left hand corner, click the data sheet view. Before you can enter information, you must first save the table. Uh, a dialog box will pop up and click yes to save the table. Now let's enter information into the database. For the last name, type Doe. First name, John. For the email address, jdoe at email.com. The phone number will be 555-123-456. You can leave the notes section for this contact blank. And for our second contact, the last name will be Smith. The first name is Jane. The email address is jsmith at email.com. The phone number is 555-123-9876. And for this contact, she will be your colleague. So in the notes section, type colleague. To save the database, you can right click the contacts tab and click save or you can also click the save button at the top of the screen. Now, let's review what we accomplished with this tutorial. We were able to create and name a new database, set the fields to enter information into, take contact information and enter it into the correct fields, and finally save the database. If there is any other additional information that you would like pertaining to Microsoft Access 2007 or this tutorial in general, please feel free to contact me with the following information. Once again, thank you for viewing this tutorial.